Hello everyone, thank you for joining us in another video. My name is Julio Perez and I'm a solutions engineer here at Arista Networks. In this video, we're gonna take a look at combining AVD with Cloud Vision and Netbox as an inventory source of truth. For this example, the topology is a little bit more involved. So in this case, we're doubling our node count. So we have two spines and four leaf nodes with leaf one and leaf two being in pod one and leaf three and leaf four in pod two. And again, since we'll be leveraging Cloud Vision in this example, Cloud Vision has connectivity to all of our nodes in this topology. So let's take a look at how we got this working. In my case, I'm using the Arista test drive topology to build a topology that I can work with that has EOS nodes and Cloud Vision deployed. So in this case, I can show you the topology here. By default, it actually deploys with a lot more devices. There's actually two sites, site one and site two. But in our case, we're just gonna focus on site one for our example. Now, a few things on the Netbox side to get this working. So again, we had to define all of our devices. So in this case, I created a new site called Site1. And then I had to define a device type for CVP. Again, kept it very simple. I just called it CVP. You could get really fancy and do version-specific numbering here. But in my case, I just had one version of CVP. So we just kept it simple there. As well as tags. Now, I'm filtering on all the tags for S1, so Site1. In this case, you can see we've essentially recreated the tags but in this case for our new site being site one, except one edition of the S1 CVP tag. So that'll be corresponding to our CVP node. So let me go back to devices. And here we can see that I gave my CVP instance name, the, the actual reachable uh, URL of my CVP instance. And if I open up this device, we can go down to tags and see that it's assigned to S1 CVP. So nothing Nothing new there, just a little bit of tagging. And then again, if we look at S1 spine one and then one of the leaf nodes, uh, we'll see all the tagging there as well. So here we can see that we have the tags of S1 fabric, S1 lab, and S1 spines. And then if I go to one of the leaf nodes, let's see S1 leaf one, and we can see one moment that our tags again, are a little bit more involved with the leaf nodes. We have S1 fabric, lab, leafs, pod one, servers, and tenant networks. Now from the AVD side, let's see what's all going on here in this example. So again, in group bars, we have the all group, which just kind of specifies how are we going to connect to our nodes? Let's see authentication parameters and any other ends that we might want to override from AVD defaults. Then we have the S1 fabric again, very similar to any example we'd find uh, with AVD. In this case, this is leveraging an L3 LS deployment. And then we have S1 Lab, which again, just general configurations that we want deployed across our entire network. The leaves and the spines it didn't change at all. We just have a type of L3 leaf or a type of spine for the spines. And servers and tenant networks are fairly the same as last time. Now let's keep going down and check out the playbooks. So now here in the build playbook, in this case, now we're gonna target the S1 Fabric group because that's the group that we will uh, be targeting in this case for the build. And then we have a different playbook called Deploy CVP. Now in this case, we're going to target the host of S1 CVP or the group of S1 underscore CVP, which is going to be tied to our CVP node. And the rest is very similar to what you'd see in a Cloud Vision deployment when we're importing the role of EOS config deploy CVP. Now let me close a little bit of this and we'll just scroll down to the, let's see. So we have a new file called CVP underscore inventory. We have a plugin pointing to the Netbox inventory plugin, our Netbox host. We're not validating certs. We're still grouping by tags, except now our query filter site one. We'll kind of remove the, the little device we had called random device. That was kind of an outlier uh, to assist us in, in getting our heads around querying. But in this case, very similar structure to grouping of how we're going to convert the names that are sent by default with the Netbox plugin to the names we actually want that align more to our group variables files. So again, let, let's run the Ansible inventory command just so we can see what inventory we're actually parsing. So here we can see for tags underscore S1, tenant networks, we have all of the leaf nodes. And then for spines, we have the spine nodes. And if we scroll just a little bit, we should see the CVP node. Ah, yeah, just missed it. So here we have tags underscore S1 underscore CVP. And then we have the host, which is the, the public URL of my CVP instance that I can reach out to uh, to provision my network. So let's run this in two steps. I'm going to clean some of this up just so we can see the difference. And I'm going to run the Ansible build command. Uh, let me scroll back here and we'll go to build. Okay, so that's complete. No different than before. We're gonna have documentation for all of our nodes. 
We're going to have the antenna configuration for all of our nodes, all of the leaf nodes, all the spy nodes. Uh, minor difference now is that since we actually have pods in, in a group, we can uh, define MLAG configuration between the two nodes, which we'll see in an example here in a moment. Okay, so that's the build step. That's just the first part. And the second part would be the deploy step. But let me show you what's going on in the network. Again, just so we can see the before and after effect. And very quickly before I do that, one thing I should mention, when we run the deploy CVP playbook, we are setting execute task to true. So in this case, when we do run the provisioning play, it will you know have the task, it will create the change control and it would execute the change control for us. But again, you can set this to false and the default is actually false. So someone has to have a you know human intervention to actually create the change control and approve that workflow. Going back to our topology. So I can, I'm going to copy my credential and I'm gonna click on S1 leaf one, again, picking on leaf one just to uh, be consistent. Uh, we can do a quick little show run and we can see that really there's not much going on. There's some streaming configuration for CVP and no really interface configuration. There's some management settings, but that's about it. And then let's take a look at the CVP instance. So here we have essentially mimicking two sites, site one, site two. We're only focused on site one. And by default, when we're deploying this topology in the ATD, uh, we have two sites or two containers, right? S1 and S2. Uh, but there's really nothing much going on besides that in this environment. Okay, now that we're ready, I'm going to run the deploy playbook. And what we should see is some nodes will be moved around to new containers. We're gonna see tasks being created and change controls being executed for us. So here we can see the tasks are being created that are essentially moving the device to the appropriate containers and assigning the configlets to each appropriate device. And here we can see that the change controls are starting. So if I move over to change control or just click on one of those, and here we can see that S1 spine one is going through its change. And actually let's go back just so we can view them all and what stage they're all on. So we can see that they're all starting to complete. Now let's go back to S1 site one again, just picking on S1 site one. And once again, just do a quick show run just so we can see that we've deployed you know, VLANs, SVIs, uh, BGP configuration, MLAG configuration, and could do a few more checks. Let's go show MLAG. Uh, config sanity okay so we don't have any inconsistencies and let's do a show ip bgp summary again being consistent here so here we can see we have established neighbor relationships with s1 spine 1 s1 spine 2 and our neighbor s1 leaf 2. that was a very quick example on how to use the netbox inventory source plugin with avd and cvp to provision our networks thank you for joining us again and happy automating